TV. Give it up for Butch Moore, ladies and gentlemen. Stay in school.
cops stop me all the time, and they look at me going, no way, dude, but yes, they do. I like fucking with them, too. Like, they'll walk up to the car, you know why I stopped you? I'm like, because you got a good look at me? <laughs> That's flipping the script, because now he has to lie to me. <laughs> I'm in charge of this situation, goddammit. <laughs> I have all the running things. Here's one moment. You guys are not going to believe this, man. Now, three months ago, I get arrested in Fort Worth. Okay, that part you believe. That's not the part you're not going to believe. <laughs> the part you won't believe is what I was arrested for, man. I swear to you guys, true story. I got arrested in Fort Worth, Texas for possession of marijuana paraphernalia. <laughs> Dude, they busted me with an empty pipe. <laughs> and make it worse, sir, it's a fucking bike cop. <laughs> not, not just one of them motherfuckers, there was six of them, man. They swooped on me, they was on me like, like I was black. <laughs> but I freaked out the white guys when I said that right now. <laughs> Relax, white people, the black guys know. They know. Yeah, they were on me, man. They swooped me, man. They just, uh, it, what happened was I was, uh, it was between shows, you know? And I went outside between shows to get ready for the second show. And I just hit my last hit of get ready. <laughs> That's my stoner right there. That's, uh, <laughs> just hit my last hit of get ready, and all of a sudden they swooped on me, man. They was coming at me, man. Six of them motherfuckers from eight directions. Do the math. They were busy, man. They're like, freeze, hold it, don't move. But I'm, seeing, I'm hearing freeze. I'm seeing badges. I'm going, fuck, there's a crime. There's a crime. There's a crime. Where's the crime? Like, where? He said, right there. He points to the pipe. I'm like, bro, that's empty. You're late. <laughs> you need a car. <laughs> that pissed him off. And he took me to jail. He took me to jail on the handlebars, bro. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? <laughs> Curb. <laughs> Rolling the sally port on a 10 speed. Took me to jail, dude. Even a judge, you know how you get to see a judge, right? Many motherfuckers been arrested. <laughs> I look here in Fort Worth, Texas. You get to see a judge in Tarrant County. Judge, he, he looks at the charges and says, "Like, no, this is a class C misdemeanor, man. They don't usually arrest you for this. What'd you do to piss off the cop?" I was like, "Bro, he showed up on a bike. He was already pissed, right?" <laughs> you get Officer Cable a car. So the judge. We get some tape. Circumcise. I do a Jewish mic. Santa Maria. I keep stepping on my leash. I think that's the problem. Man, I spoke a lot of pot. All right, look. <laughs> oh, yeah, the judge. Fucking Tarrant County. The judge. Motherfucker. So, we don't judge it. The judge decided to fine me for possession of marijuana paraphernalia. $867. That's the problem with the fucking justice system right there. Right. Okay, first of all, do I look like I have $867? <laughs> I fucking don't, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna get paid after the show. I still ain't my eight hundred sixty-seven dollars. <laughs> you know what that means, right? I now have a warrant in Fort Worth, Texas. Fuck you, motherfucker! Come get me, motherfucker! I'll be, I'll be working in Fort Worth, Texas next month under the name Butch Lord. Kansas City, I got stopped in Oklahoma. If you ever seen an Oklahoma PD, they'll scare the hell out of you, man. Like, I got, first of all, I got one of them cops who's way too happy to be a cop. You ever seen one of them guys? Yeah. 
he's real excited about being a cop. He sees me go by and says, oh, that's a felon. Fuck yeah, that's a felon, that's a felon. <laughs> He's real happy to see Butchie. Dude, he was wearing camouflage, man. I was like, holy shit, we're getting pulled by a tree or something, man. <laughs> maintain, maintain. Okay, that's your hardcore stoners laughing at the maintain. That's the hardcore. The hardcore stoners, not the casual stoners. Yeah, that's this couple of the casual stoners right here. The only time they get high anymore is when they complicate pop when they're kids. <laughs> No, I know that. That's where I get my pots. <laughs> From your kids. Alright, so listen. <laughs> this cop that stopped me in Oklahoma, he was a canine unit. Know what that is? They had that little food style that can smell the trees. Woo! Which would be a great gift for any stoner, wouldn't it? I think my ex cop, though, he'll find my shit, boy. <laughs> That's a good boy! <laughs> There's a couple more stoners in here than I thought. <laughs> this cop told me to stop me. When he runs my license, he wanted me to sit in the front seat with the cop car while he runs my license. And the boots are in the back seat, you know, I got a little something, something right here. Some treats, you know. There's good treats too, man. So as soon as I got in the car, the boots in the back seat started freaking, dude. He starts barking and doing circles. I'm trying to play it off. Look at the boots, he's happy to have company. Look. Cop had no idea. He's like, yeah, he likes company. <laughs> Meanwhile, dog's going, he's got pot, he's got pot, he's got pot, he's got pot, he's got pot. Cop had no idea. He didn't want to step around my car. Dog was very disinterested in the car. He kept stopping and looking at me like, duh. <laughs> Just waving, glad you can't talk, fucker. <laughs> they replace you with a parrot, I'm fucked. <laughs> right, take his shoe. Right. <laughs> Little fucker's lying, man. You guys are delightful. I am. I'm running out of show. Look at that. I uh, had a weird incident, man. I ran into my high school sweetheart this week. It was weird. It sucked, actually. It sucked because she is fucking hot. Er. Nobody wants an ex getting hotter. I mean, dude, she got new tits. That's bullshit. It's like selling a rusted old Chevy for 50 bucks and seeing it restored a month later. Dude! He picked the clutch. <laughs> ah, that's alright, she got all the body work she wants. Never fix that clutch. <laughs> <What's> that? <laughs> well, I act like you knew her, you fuckers, alright? Because you knew her, you'd be like, yeah, I'm kidding, but that clutch is fucked. It just sucks it my high school sweetheart, you know? My high school chick. The whole time I'm talking to her, I just want to be like, I'm good in bed now. <laughs> she was high school. She's my first. We all suck at first. All right? Guys? <laughs> Come on, man. You know we all suck at first. <laughs> Who said no, motherfuckers? <laughs> I got news for you, no, guess what? If you don't think you suck at first, you still suck! <laughs> All guys suck at first, man. Guys, we suck at first because we have no idea what the hell we're doing. We're missing important information. Some, some shit nobody tells us, you know? Like important stuff. Like nobody tells guys that women that need a little prep time down here. How in the fuck would we know that? We're ready immediately. You wanna do what? Boing! Shit, I didn't know our first time, you know? It was our first time, we was just at a high school cater at my house. We go seek off the back bedroom and do the dirty. I get back in that bedroom, I got no idea what I'm doing. I'm poking away at a drive, gong, gong. Boom, 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 boom. Right in the middle of my 10 year old sister first day. I know what you're doing. It's like, great, because I don't. Little help here. And she's all, spit on it. <laughs> the trailer park. <laughs> Don't act, motherfuckers, you knew. Straight out the trailer. From the good side of the trailer park, though. 
I tell you, I had the addition on that motherfucker. Oh, it was a tough shot, and the other one into that bitch. <laughs> we had to do a little mess, meth lab, blew up, blew the end of the trailer off, so we had to. <laughs> the hell? So I, uh, I just came here from a place I shouldn't even have visited as a tourist. I was just in uh, Branson, Missouri. You guys know Branson? Yeah. A couple of you know Branson, that's why you're laughing. That's nice. Youngsters look at me like, Branson, blink, blink, what the fuck? Let me break it down for you. Branson is a little town in Missouri where a whole bunch of old time country singers went there and opened their own theaters. They got the Andy Williams Theater, the Roy Clark. It's like Lollapalooza for senior citizens. <laughs> it's a senior Ozfest, man. They put me in a room with 400 senior citizens. I scared the shit out of those people. They were staring at me, I was touching their granddaughters or something, you know? Wasn't there all that tricking me? They just put a sign on the side that said comedy tonight. So poor and old people were staggered in there expecting to see Milton Merle. They got Charles Manson pretty much. Right? <laughs> Good point though, they ain't gonna exercise in years. They're trying to run the hell out of there. That guy said fuck. <laughs> Actually cleared the box car Willie Theater in record time. Serious, two bucks in the pussy, place was empty, that was it. Nobody <laughs> left. Just an old couple down front with broken hearing aids. Come on, I like him, he's a cat lover. <laughs> it took you guys a second, I can see that. You're doing the math, Carrie. Let's see, oh, pussy. Oh. Holy macaroni. I went down the deep south, that was fun. We are almost out of show. <laughs> it's my alarm clock. I went down to the real, real deep south, that lower Alabama, Mississippi deep south, you know that? That you ain't from around here, are you boy, deep south? I like going down there because I like how uh, colorful the English language gets when you're down there. Because they'll talk to you in them sayings when they're talking to you. You hear them saying shit like that. It's colder than a witch's tit. They'll tell you the young kid, it's colder than a witch's tit in a brass bra on the shady side of an iceberg. I'll take your word for it, Cooter. <laughs> I had a cold one, guess him. Well, it's funny with them saying, so sometimes you don't actually have to know what that shit means, you know what it means. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, all right, let me break it down for you. Give me an example of what I'm talking about. I was down in Biloxi, Mississippi, and I heard the phrase, it's on like a chicken bone. On like a chicken bone. Never heard that shit before. I knew exactly what it meant. Let me tell you how. I was hanging with Luxie. I go over to Slidell, Louisiana for a one night show. Slidell is going to see uh, Marana of New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, fucking no treats. You know what I'm saying? I was after my show, Papa wanted some treats. Yeah. All right, before we go any further, I have to define treats for you people, I guess. <laughs> Here's what I want you to do. I want you to think of treats like the briefcase in Pulp Fiction. It's whatever you want it to be. I'm a big man right here, you think? Pork chops, all right? <laughs> now, you know the random with pork chops in Slidell. So we call up a friend over at Biloxi, and he said he got two pork chops left. <laughs> Same stoners. He's got just two pork chops left. And he said somebody else had called about them two pork chops. They said they could be there in a half hour, but we got there first, it was our pork chops. Well, we went outside, kept the black aircraft, I shit, 140 miles an hour, right down I 10. <laughs> Just like Paul Fiction, 22 minutes, 37 seconds, like, whoop, we pulled into a gas station around the corner of Deuce House. My friend gets out and he called the cat the big bone. Come back around and hop in the car, I said, what's up, man? He said, it's on like a chicken bone. Never heard it before, but I knew that both chops was mine. I'm not the one who's so far away when I feel the state by the end of my veins. Never did I want to be here again. I don't remember why I came. I'm not sure what that was either. I gotta be honest with you. I smoked a lot of pot. I, uh, my friends wanted to take me out there this week. They wanted to make me forget about my, uh, make me forget about my, my ex-girlfriend. 
I'll be great cousin. What did it take you to make a burger left? A girl for you? What did it take you? Watch my club. A chick. That's great, guys. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yes. Well, it's a strip club. Yes. My friends took me to a strip club, which is not where you take a dude who's not getting laid. It's like taking a starving kid from a third world country to Domino's so you can watch him make me turn. <laughs> And plus we went to a bad strip club. That's another thing that ladies don't know this about strip clubs. The guys have good ones and bad ones, see? Because when it comes to strippers for the ladies, it's always all good. You get those chip and nail men of you say honey, big buff guy, little six pack. Big buff guy, you never get to make that guy at the trailer park with a fear gun and butt crack, do you? Well, here's something you didn't know. Occasionally we get his sister. <laughs> Just saying, these were some big girls. There's one right there. <laughs> you know you're in a bad strip club when the feature dancer is pregnant. That's trouble. That's... Don't get pissed at me, you fuckers. I didn't hire her. I tipped her. <laughs> a little something for you, a little something for the kid. <laughs> Don't act like he took it from me, all <laughs> That pussy made change! <laughs> okay, sir, the pussy made change. That's as funny as I get right there. We hit a wall. The pussy made change. Chink, 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 chink. Brought you guys some treats here tonight. Not those treats, baby. <laughs> I can't break those out up here anyways. After a show up in the parking lot with my trunk up. 50 to 800 a quarter. Anyways. Shit, let me break out here. Uh, all time, I used to tour with Tommy Chong from Cheech and Chong. Y'all remember Tommy? Heck yeah, all time after the show, Tommy had like t-shirts, CDs, bongs, stickers, gum gum, whatnot. He's like, Butchie, you gotta get a souvenir. People wanna get a souvenir from you. Me and Tommy get together, we smoke a big fatty. Here's what he's going for me. The Bush Lord Souvenir Bumper Sticker. Sensing some skeptics here tonight. Stones. Yes, stones. Let me tell you why you're gonna want one of these stickers, man. This is the coolest sticker you ever get. Everybody here, we're all guilty of getting a sticker. One time or another, you get a stupid sticker, you put it in your car. Then it gets old and outdated, and you're stuck with that old ass sticker. That little dot dot dot, that's a continuation. You line that bad boy up, but any old sticker makes it brand new. Where's the any sticker? Like, I voted for Trump. Stone. <laughs> is that out you were looking for? Works with any sticker. My kid, my cats go to U of A. Stone. <laughs> the best part is you don't have to put them on your car. <laughs> you got to neighbor. My kid's on the honor roll. Stone. <laughs> nice. Now everybody needs two of them. That's nice. <laughs> they are conveniently priced because that's an emergency. They're three bucks a piece, two for buying, or I'll trade you for pot. Okay, so <laughs> keep in mind your green goes further than your green. True story, first time I uh, ever had my stickers, I was playing at the uh, University, uh, uh, I was playing in Columbia, Missouri, University of Missouri. I was there with Tommy, we were doing uh, two nights, four shows, and the first night, first show, he's back in school, doing about all 250 stickers brought from the hotel. All 250, I was like, well, whatever, I sell them. That night, I leave the, the club at two in the morning, my stickers are all over Columbia. <laughs> They're on fucking street signs, one way, stone. <laughs> Front store fronts, back in five minutes, stone. <laughs> They're all over the town, right? The next night, I'm in the green room before the show, and the manager of the club opened the door to the green room. He's standing there with two uniformed Columbia PD. And the manager goes, that's him. And the cop goes, sticker dudes. I go, bro, I got nothing to do with it once I sell them. He goes, no, nah, man, we want to get some. <laughs> We're going to put on the Jeff County Sheriff cars, right? They're to serve and protect. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tucson, Arizona. You guys have a nice night.